Sorry about that guys, I was having a few problems, uh, but once you, they are connected, which they normally should be, um, you basically hit enable, and then you scroll down right here, and you go to services, and you turn the pebble on. And uh, with this interface, once it's on, you are connected. And it's searching for it again. Definitely has issues once you system reset it, but uh, once you give the Pebble access, uh, basically this is giving the Pebble access for like notifications and uh, things such as that to basically uh, be able to use it for that. Then you enable your uh, Gmail account uh, to be able to send the emails that way. So I'm just gonna go back on this. And then we can, uh, once it's all synced, we can actually demo it. So say we send a test email. That is what the email would look like. Welcome Pebble. Hi there, it looks like. Rest, enjoy the Pebble, Pebble team. Send text message. This is what the text message will look like. So very basic. And then this is what a phone call will look like. So you can decline it from here, just with the bottom button. And then next. So you can uh, do a couple things right here. You can install more watch faces. Um, these are the stock ones that you have with it. So you can, different language even. And those are these stock watch faces, which I don't really care for them, any of them. So you can pick your music controller. For me, I like Google Play Music, so I will be picking that one. But it's nice, it looks like you can do it with any kind of music, including Pandora or any other um, kind of music, or even video, it looked like. And then uh, Discover Pebble, let's see what that is. Oh, it's just online. And then I'm done. So that was the entire setup for the uh, Pebble smartwatch. If you guys have any questions about it, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.